Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If I look a mess, please can we ignore it? I went to Harry Styles last night and this is the recovery. So we're just gonna ignore that. Today I'm doing a really exciting video. I am filming a bikini haul for my holiday. So I don't know if you saw like a couple of months back I filmed a bikini haul, but obviously I'm not taking all of them with me. I bought some more since. So I'm just gonna be showing you all the ones that I am taking with me and the ones that I like and where they're from. So if you have a similar body shape to me, you know where to go. Also, I had my nails done for my holiday and look how unreal they are. Without further ado, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the video. This is my setup for today. I don't know if you've seen, but I film all my reels here, so I thought I'd as well film my video here as well. It's good lighting. I feel like you'll be able to see the whole bikini as well. And my head, obviously, because we can't miss out on this. All of this going on. I'll show you all the ones that I've got to go through. It's quite a lot, I won't lie. It's actually really embarrassing how many I've bought. I'm gonna start with my newest one. So I got this one from Bow Avenue. It fits so, so nice. So I'll try this one on for you first. Okay, this is the first one. Like I said, she's a staple. Ignore my tan lines, I've been going on some bed. I feel like I just wanted to buy a nice black one, like an expensive one that's gonna last me because I always buy cheaper bikinis from like PLT, Sheen. I used to buy them from like Misguided, places like that. But they don't last, so I wanted like a good one. I think it did cost me around £40 for the set. It might have been a little bit more. But yeah, I think this is really cute. It fits really nice. Like I said, it's a thong, so I'm not going to turn around. But you can adjust like the tightness here of like the ruching if you want it obviously tighter or looser. Okay, go for a more colourful one next. I'll do this one from Pretty Little Thing. It's still got the tags on. This might have been in my haul, but I can't remember. Um, I got this in a size 12 bottoms and a 14 top. I usually size up in my tops just because of my chest size. This is the second one. I feel like the colour explains it all. It's going to look so nice when I've got like a better tan on holiday. It's just like a ruched, I don't know what to call it, like crinkly material. I've got another one like that, which I'll show you later. But this is what it looks like. I love the colour. It's not meant to be high waisted, but you can pull it up. You will never, ever, ever catch me wearing my bikini down there. Not happening. And also, ignore the side of my head there in the mirror. The back of my head is actually giving me the itch. Please ignore that. But yeah, this colour is really cute, actually. I like it. And it's pretty supportive, if you can't tell. Up next, I'm going to show you this blue one from Boohoo. This, I got a 12 in the bottoms and a 12 in the top. I should have sized up in the top. I didn't, and I'm still going to take it because the colour is mwah. So maybe I'll just wear it for a picture or if I'm just laid sunbathing and not actually doing anything because if I wear it for anything else, something will fall out. So yeah. Here she is in all her glory. This one has no padding in it, so if you like padded bikinis, then maybe don't get this one. Also, I am falling out of literally every single side of this bikini, but look at the colour. It speaks for itself. So, she will be coming. I think if I'm just laid sunbathing, it'll be fine, like, on my sunbed. I think I'll be all right. Next, I'm going to show you this custom bikini. It's from CMD Clothing. I'll show you the tag so you can look them up on Instagram. It's like handmade bikinis. You can pick different size top to bottom. The woman who runs it is so lovely as well. So I will be taking this one on holiday with me. I don't know what size I got. I think I got a large top and a large bottoms. I could be wrong, but she does have a size guide for you to pick from. Look how cute this is. And it's handmade, are you joking? This again is like a thong style. You can pick, obviously because they're handmade, you can pick what style top you want, what style bottom you want, what what size you want, what material you want, it's so good. That's why I love getting like small business bikinis. I had one a couple of years ago as well and that one's lovely and it just fits so nice. Like, I'm gonna do the PLT one next. I'm sure you've seen it before, probably. I also can't find the bottom, so I'm just gonna try the top on and show you the top. But the bottoms are somewhere in this pile of mess. I'm just unsure where. Here is the top. I didn't change my bottoms. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with this. I would wear it with the matching bottoms that I can't find. Or just like a black bottom, so maybe ignore that. But it's just a tie around one. The strings are super long, so you can tie them like pretty much however you want. I just wrapped them around me, but the colours are cute. Oh. I would say if you're gonna get this though, size up because the triangles are really small. One wrong move, and I will be flashing the whole hotel. So yeah, maybe size up in this one. Up next, I'm gonna do this pink one. This is very similar to the green one that I showed you. This one's from Primark. So I got the top, the bottoms in a small and the top in a large. Like I said, 
do you always get the top in a bigger size? I've never actually tried this one on. I do like the colour actually, I'm not a pink girly, but it's really cute, it makes me look tanned. Obviously I wouldn't tie the sides this tight, just whoever hung it up in the store decided that I was going to be minuscule. So, also, the top doesn't fit as well as the PLT one, it still fits really nice. Well, not really nice, but it still fits. But I would prefer more of a fitted cup, so like maybe rounded a bit on the side so that it actually doesn't just stick out like that, if that makes any sense. I've got two more that I'm going to show you. Both of them are like sets, so maybe good for like pictures and stuff, but not very practical if I'm being 100% honest. But they came with a sarong, so I can't throw them away. First one I'll show you is this green one. This one is from Shein, again. I think I got it in a extra large. Here's a green one, and this is the matching sarong. I feel like I've had this problem with loads of Shein bikinis, that the white shows on the inside. I'll try this on. The sarongs are rectangles as well, so I don't know how you're actually supposed to tie them. All the ones I've had before have like longer strings at the side, but I'd probably just tie it like this. Quite cute though. I like the pattern, that's why I've not thrown it away because I like, because I like the pattern. And it does actually cover at the back. But yeah. This is the last one. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you'll have seen it over there, but I'll try it on for you. Anyways, this one is from Boohoo, but Nasty Gal on Boohoo. It's one of the metallic bikinis. It's a green one, obviously. I love the colour of this one. I ordered it in a bigger size, obviously, for the top, because it comes as a set. The only problem I have is the top is still a bit small as you can see and now the bottoms are too big i also don't know how you're supposed to wear this skirt i'm thinking that it's supposed to be like a little v in the middle this is how i would wear it if i did i was going to take this to ibiza but i feel like everyone in ibiza is going to be wearing metallics i did actually buy a gold one off sheen though and surprisingly that one fits a lot better so nasty gal sort the sizing out babe and i do like the bikini i like the color i wouldn't wear it to go swimming in there that's the thing the material is not feeling it's not saying swimwear i won't lie so that is it for the bikinis i'm taking on holiday guaranteed i'll probably buy more before i go and i literally go in five days if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want more content like this holiday content i'm not going to be vlogging on holiday this year because i'm going for two weeks and i feel like that's too long i will be vlogging over my tiktok so make sure you follow me over there all my ads are in the description. I'll try and put links in as well for the bikinis I've got in case any of you want to buy them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.